Good morning. Today is Wednesday, October 19th, 2022, and this is our morning prayer service. <clears throat> Let the words of the mo my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Venite. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. <clears throat> the psalm for this morning is Psalm 57. Be merciful to me, O God, be merciful to me, for in you my soul take refu takes refuge. In the shadow of your wings I will take refuge until the destroying storms pass by. I cry to God most high, to God who fulfills his purpose for me. He will send from heaven and save me. He will put to shame those who trample on me. God will send forth his steadfast love and his faithfulness. I lie down among the lions that greedily devour human prey. Their teeth are spears and arrows, their tongues sharp swords. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth. They set a net for my steps. My soul was bowed down. They dug a pit in my path, but they have fallen into it themselves. My heart is steadfast. O oh God, my heart is steadfast. I will sing and make melody. Awake, my soul. Awake, O oh harp and lyre. I will awake the dawn. I will give thanks to you, O oh God. O oh Lord, among the peoples, I will sing praises to you among the nations. For your steadfast love is as high as the heavens. Your faithfulness extends to the clouds. Be exalted, O oh God, above the heavens, let your glory be over all the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from 1 Samuel. Abigail came to Nabal. He was holding a feast in his house like a feast of king. Nabal's heart was merry within him, and he was very drunk. So she told him nothing at all until the morning light. In the morning when the wine was gone out of Nabal, his wife told him these things, and his heart died within him. He became like a stone. About ten days later, the Lord struck Nabal, and he died. When David heard that Nabal was dead, he said, Blessed be the Lord, who has judged the case of Nabal's insult to me, and has kept back his servant from evil. The Lord has returned the evil doing of Nabal upon his own head. 
Then David sent word to Abigail to make her his wife. When David's servants came to Abigail to, at Carmel, they said to her, David has sent us to you to take you to him as his wife. She rose and bowed down with her face to the ground and said, Your servant is a slave to wash the feet of the servants of my Lord. Abigail got up hurriedly and rode away on a donkey. <clears throat> her five maids attended her. She went after the messengers of David and became his wife. In the 27th year of King Jebron of Israel, King Azra, son of Esma of Judah, began to reign. He was 16 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned 52 years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Jokalah of Jerusalem. He did what was right in the sight of the Lord, just as his father Amazah had done. Nevertheless, the high places were not taken away. The people still sacrificed and made offerings in the high places. The Lord struck the king so that he had a defiling skin disease on the day of his death and lived in a separate house. Jotam, the king's son, was in charge of the palace, governing the people of the land. Now the rest of the acts of Ezra and all that he did are not written in the book of the annals of the kings of Judah. Ezra slept with his ancestors, and they buried him with his ancestors in the city of David. His son Jochum succeeded him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Song of Simeon Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading of the Gospel according to Luke. He came out and went, as was his custom, to the Mount of Olives, and the disciples followed him. And when he reached the place, he said to them, Pray that you may not come into the time of trial. Then he withdrew from them about a stone's throw, knelt down and prayed, Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me, yet not my will, but yours be done. Then an angel from heaven appeared to him and gave him strength, and in his anguish he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat became like great drops of blood falling down on the ground. When he got up from prayer, he came to the disciples and found them sleeping because of grief, and he said to them, why are you sleeping? Get up and pray that you may not come into the time of trial. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Suffrage A. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your known ways be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. 
the colic for today. Almighty and everlasting God, in Christ you have revealed your glory among the nations. Preserve the works of your mercy, that your church throughout the world may persevere with steadfast faith in the confession of your name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A colic for peace. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A colic for grace. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought us into safety and in this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth, and you sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold, pour out your Spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray for strength and healing for Roy, Roberta, O.T., Allison, Amber, Stephen, Tom, Joyce, Lillian, Margaret, John, Les, Bob, Crystal, <clears throat> Rick, Cherie, Lisa, Erica, Rob, and Pat. I invite you to add your own intercessions and thanksgiving. The Prayer of St. Christotham Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.